All right, and keeping it with the indie circuit right now, we are talking about a new book from Mad Cave Studios. We are fans of Mad Cave Studios. We're fans of wrestling. And here we have a Mad Cave wrestling comic book and Over the Ropes. This is written by Jay Sandlin. Normally, you see a lot of books written from Mark London at Mad Cave, but here we have Jay Sandlin. Great guy, by the way. Make sure you guys follow him on Twitter. He's active on there. He responds to pretty much everyone. But I'm excited about this book because of all the above. Great writer, great person, great company, great freaking topic when we're talking about wrestling, aren't we, Jack? Right. There's nothing. I'm a big comics fan, okay? But probably my number one passion is professional wrestling. I absolutely love professional wrestling. I watch just about every promotion that there is. So comics that talk about professional wrestling, I get hyped for. And this one, more than any that I've seen, seems to really be written by like a true hardcore wrestling fan like we are, Brian. So this one tells the story of a young wrestler named Phoenix down in the Southern Territories in the 90s. Which, of course, if you know anything about like the Attitude Era and kind of that like PG-13 to TVMAR rated style of televised wrestling programming, it's that era. And, you know, he he takes a match that he's maybe not supposed to win and it's going to set off some course of events. We're talking families. We're talking factions. um, We're talking steel chairs and everything in between. Crooked wrestling promoters. This is my kind of series. Um, this is think uh, the Austin era, think the Montreal screw job. Um, we're gonna get all of that with this series. And there's been a lot of reader buzz on this. When Brian and I, when we were in Baltimore and we got to talk to the good folks at Mad Cave Studios, they said that there was more buzz for this than any book. And they're on a roll because Wolvenheart had just set a uh, a kind of a pre order sales record for them, and it looks like Over the Ropes is gonna pass that. Now, having said that, we're not talking about an overprinted book. We're still talking a micro print run compared to what, say, larger independent publishers and the big two do. But still, Mad Cave Studios is on a roll. This one I'm excited for, as you can tell. And I don't care how well this book does. I don't. This is one I am just pumped to read, but I think it's going to do very well. 